Okay, so Jay Mangal, uh, let me thank you for voluntarily coming forward to share your selection in direct PhD in very prestigious IIIT Delhi in electronics. Uh, you are electronics and communication engineer. Yes. Sir. And the special thing is you have got direct PhD even without you have your GATE score, right? Yes, sir. That is wonderful, Jay. So, uh, Jay, uh, uh, I am sure we are going to learn many things uh, through this interaction and through your selection. But I want very brief background of yours. I mean, from which part of India you are? And after graduation, when did you do? And uh, then uh, thereafter, uh, you must have done something good in project. So we will start uh, forward from there. So I am Jay Mangal, and uh, I belongs to Hindon City in Rajasthan. And I have done my uh, graduation, my undergraduation BTEC from Valor Institute of Technology, Bhopal. Okay. So VIT University, Bhopal. Uh, from there, I did my graduation. So from 2018 to 2022, this is my graduation batch. So I have just now completed my graduation. So you have completed, okay. Yes, just sir. now. Hmm. Just now I am com completing my graduation. And uh, after that, uh, I directly got selected for a redirect PhD uh, to hmm. IIIT Delhi under a funded project by Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Hmm. So Jay, what happens is normally if you want to go for direct PhD after BTEC, GATE score is required. To my yes, understanding, sir. it is required. Yes, sir. So how come you could get direct PhD without GATE score? Yes, sir. So actually this whole thing started because I was knowing that I want to pursue my research career. So I started to keep an eye over the institutes from winter semester. Okay. Because generally everybody will say that in winters admission is easy. Although I was not eligible eligible in winters in this mm -hmm. winter, but I used to keep an eye on every institute, whatever form has to come from, either mm -hmm. from IIT, from NIT, IIIT, VIT, anyone. Mm -hmm. So what I found, the only institute which I found in that list was this IIIT Delhi, which was not asking any GATE score at that time. Okay. It was not asking any GATE score. It was just asking that you should be uh, having a minimum CGP requirement. Like I think it was 7.5 CGPA. That's mm -hmm. all you have. And if you would be having some research papers, some good conference papers, then you would be, you can be considered for a direct PhD admission. Mm -hmm. At that time, even I was not eligible for this institute, but I applied for it. Okay. And uh, hopefully I got shortlisted. Okay, even okay. at the time, I was not even eligible to come in this institute. I, so, I was doing my BTEC. Yeah. Okay. When did you apply in this, um, this uh, last winters only? Okay. So you applied in the winters? Yeah. I applied and in they, the winters. Okay. And then they uh, shortlisted you for summers? No, no, sir. They just shortlisted for, for, for winters only at that time. Okay. Like maybe they won't, uh, they just wanted to interact with me or they just wanted to take my interview because they were also knowing that I am not eligible. Okay. Then how I'm applying in, in this kind of situation. Generally, people don't apply. So they, they maybe so, so you had to... interview and everything? In IIIT yes, sir. I had, I had interviewed and everything at that time. So which month you had your interview? I had my interview in December, sir. December itself? In December. Mm -hmm. So And when December, were you selected? I got selected, uh, to be precise, uh, for the summer semester, I just got selected few days at only. Mm -hmm. On 31st, I was having my interview. So that means actually, you had your interview in December, but you got your result now in June or something. No, sir. Uh, uh, hmm. Actually, uh, th there is a twist in, in this thing. Okay. The, the thing is that when I got interviewed by the hmm. panel in winters, hmm. the one of the panel faculty member was like, that, okay, that, this, uh, that I, I was actually having some 10 research papers and uh, three patents in my BTEC. Okay. Okay. So, hmm. so that the faculty got impressed that, okay, he has something to do with, like he can do something at least. Hmm. So that faculty member called me after my interview. And said that if you have some time, you can join as an intern. Okay. So I told them that, okay, I will join as an intern. So what did it say? I joined with that faculty as an intern here. But yeah. that faculty was not having a sufficient amount of funds to continue with me uh, as a PhD in summers because mm -hmm. she utilized uh, whole, all of her funds in winters mm -hmm. only. Mm -hmm. So I, I just, so by the time of December, I, I became the intern for Triple IIT Delhi in, in means of research. And uh, once I uh, given my gate exam, till that time I was working online over the project. Mm -hmm. So I was le learning about the research culture of Triple IIT Delhi uh, by online means. And once I completed my gate exam, after the four days or five days of the, uh, give, giving gate exam, I was here in the Triple IIT Delhi campus. Mm -hmm. And after that, I started, like I was continuously working over uh, with the faculty. I completed my tenure there. After that, uh, once I got the event book, on a five certificate from my institute that okay you would be now graduating as you have submitted your final year project i applied under another faculty which is of a, uh, purely my domain that is of radar communication that is purely my domain so i applied under her and uh, she uh, got uh, uh, she selected me as a research assistant mm -hmm. and uh, by that time everybody every faculty was able to know that okay how is working how how my working procedure is how many hours i can put in my research what is my level of understanding or not? and by that time like she even took my interview so to be precise i have actually given three interviews till okay. now. Mm 
Yeah. So, so uh, after yes, sir. so after giving so, this many interviews, I would be finally selected as a regular. So, as you said, you started your internship for one semester, I suppose, right? Yes, sir. So to be pre like four months, I did my internship, and after that, two three months of RHS. Like currently, even I am a research assistant only. Like mm -hmm. I am selected in PhD, but it will start in August only. So your college VIT Bhopal, uh, uh, they spared you for uh, internship. Sir, the actually, the, because of COVID, the classes were online. Mm -hmm. So I actually uh, used this time. And to be pre uh, to be precise, uh, generally what I have seen in many of the colleges, as the placement start in the final semester. So if everybody knows that where they want to go, the college actually uh, ready to spare the, the student. They don't actually care about where you want to go. Okay. So, so Jay, what I what I presume is like what goes in your favor is your strong research background. Like as yes, you can research paper three patents that is rarely seen in BTEX. Yes, sir. Actually, research background also, but the other thing was planning also, sir, because mm -hmm. uh, like to find a such institute and to apply on right time and to yes. get there yes, that also yes. was there because sir, what i think even if somebody would be having just one research paper just one research paper if they have mm -hmm. then also it's possible okay the, i was having 10 research paper that's a different thing but if anybody would have even one single and even if they don't have let's say they have their btech thesis project so they can instead of writing it in a project section in their resume if they just put research work uh, mm -hmm. section in their resume and if they by that if, even if they apply they, then also they can get selected that is true so, so yeah, the, my main point is that this could be useful for them who want to pursue a direct PhD even without data That's school, true. but it's more useful for them who want to pursue MTech to PhD in IITs without any gate score because their gate score is not much required. That is not required. Huh? Yeah, but the majority but of selection IDs, is, it is not required. But but selection is very difficult. Mm, selection so, is difficult. So right. the way anybody can select it in IITs uh, from mm. MTech to PhD is that mm. try to become a research assistant in your MTech final year at least. So once he one can become a research assistant, he would be able to first get comfortable with the things, comfortable with the professor. Professor would be able to comfortable with the student, and uh, to be precise, he would always be having an edge over other students, and uh, the professor would be having a you know different kind of uh, attitude towards that person throughout the journey. Mm -hmm. and so I think this is one of the good way that if person could at least plan uh, six months ahead before mm -hmm. everybody starts. So becoming a research assistant first is good. Jay, normally what is seen is like uh, in graduation, students do not go for much research or they don't do even their project seriously. Yes, sir. So, uh, what is your view? You, I am sure you must have done your BTEC project very seriously. Yes, and sir. that must have given you all these research papers. Yes, sir. So, when did you decide that I'll do this work very seriously and I'll uh, go for research papers? Actually, Where sir. Then, I, a big number. When I was starting my uh, uh, my uh, BTEC, sir, before that, I prepared for the ITJ exam, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, there, sir, uh, I realized that too. Uh, I, I like my dreams to become a professor because I have all the traits to become a professor. Generally, general traits, if I could say. Mm -hmm. So there, when I entered into my BTEC, sir, uh, there was a small incident happened, sir. So the mm -hmm. incident was that I, I got a supplementary from in one subject, mm -hmm. not bad, just supplementary I got, and uh, I just thought that okay, now I, I won't be able to even do the BTEC. Mm -hmm. But uh, there was one more student who came to my room, mm -hmm. and actually his uh, leg was broken mm -hmm. in his first semester while he was playing the uh, basketball sir mm -hmm. so he actually gave me the motivation that any could any, anything can happen because uh, i was good in chemistry he was not uh, he actually got supplementary in chemistry so i teach him uh, chemistry at that time and he gave me the motivation that even though anything bad can happen in life so there i realized that okay teaching uh, i can pursue so mm -hmm. i started then researching over the things that okay what a professor needs to have so I just realized one thing that everybody is having uh, so many research papers, so many citations, so many publications and all. Mm -hmm. So thereafter, sir, I started to look into the research and all. And from third year, uh, sorry, from third semester, I actually got into the very intensive research. Mm -hmm. So this you started working nicely. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So like earlier was I was working also, but I was working in terms of like okay, I would just get placed. It's okay, nothing was there. Like okay, just pursue B Tech and get placed. But after that, uh, like uh, this dream got sparked. Sir. Mm -hmm. That okay, I can be a professor. So mm -hmm. there, sir, I started doing the research and I got a really interest in the field of communication engineer. Yeah. And Jay, now, uh, uh, what research area you are going to pursue in uh, PhD? Sir, I, I would be working uh, under the uh, joint radar communication uh, project. Mm -hmm. So uh, to be precise, I would be working over uh, radar communication. Okay. So mm -hmm. that that could actually help in vehicle to vehicle communication, maybe in in future, which will require. Uh, are high data speed instead of uh, you know uh, lower data speed that we have currently. 
so uh, on that project i am going to work like how we can use this electromagnetics to actually increase the wireless generations like from 6g 7g like that so i'm going to use that electromagnetics integrated with wireless communication mm-hmm. so so from where you got this idea to go into this research area uh, while uh, writing the research papers i have to read the literature review and from yeah. there i got the idea that uh, mm-hmm. i can uh, use my uh, skills uh, as an electromagnetic person into the wireless communication so uh, as, a, as so, of now you are working on a project which actually when the moment you will completing it you will be awarded phd also uh, yes sir like uh, i have not right now working over that project because that project would be given to me once my phd will be started yes. so i am currently working as a research assistant yes, only so mm-hmm. i would be uh, putting on a different different uh, project to check my skills on different different uh, aspects and to check how can i work with my team how can i handle pressure like all those aspect i would like everybody is actually checking me so that by that thing only my guide would be able to uh, yes. take me further into the phd so jay you have visited the campus of triple it delhi yes sir like i am currently in campus so you are in the delhi campus only. offline started yes sir i i i came in uh, february only after giving gate examination so so you are staying in hostel or something right yes sir i am staying in hostel only so what kind of hostel facilities you have in triple what was the campus like The campus, campus is good. Like campus has all the facilities, like gym, mess, food mm-hmm. is good, mm-hmm. and everything is uh, good. And for PhDs, we get a single room, so mm-hmm. that is also very good. And also, and the also, also, sir, in PhD we get labs, so in labs we have a yeah. proper setting place and everything. Yeah, so, ah, yeah. uh, to be precise, like yeah, it's a good life. You know, I remember when I was in IIT Delhi, lab used to be the best place in summers because AC used to be there. Yes, sir, AC used to be there. <laughs> so immediately used to rush after breakfast from the hostel. Yes, and eight o'clock we used to be in the lab and comfortably till night we just <laughs> lab only. Yes, sir. So uh, like I I I think this is the uh, this is one of the reason why they do not start the AC from Monday to Saturday in rooms, okay. so that at least PhDs would go to lab. Yes, go to the. Okay, yeah. so so that means your your hostels are air conditioned. Is that what you're yes, saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hostels are wonderful. That is not there in IIT Delhi also. Okay. So triple. Yes, sir. I think every every room is air conditioned. Like every room is air conditioned here. Mm, wonderful. So Jay, you are getting scholarship also. Yes, sir. I would be getting scholarship also. Okay, in PhD. So, yeah. Yes, sir. The same scholarship has given by IITs and uh, uh, other governments. Similar. Also. Ministry of HRD, something yes, like sir, that. Yes, Ministry of HRD. That, that's the same. Same. I would be getting. So that is wonderful, uh, Jay. So uh, nice talking to someone. Who yes, is... sir. I, I would just uh, want to add one more point, sir. I'm yeah. Actually, uh, yeah. if you could persist me uh, some more time, I would just like to add yeah, one more. Yeah. Point. Yeah. Yeah. Good. There is a one more confusion, sir, on which you actually talked uh, many times on your YouTube, like those students who want to go for higher studies or research. how they would handle the placement uh-huh. and actually sir i handled this situation also okay. so after like uh, getting this triple id delhi i even set for placements and i got placed also okay yeah okay so okay. the the thing is which i want to tell to the students that if anybody is planning to go for higher studies like what i what i like my experience is if anybody is trying to get into higher studies and if he wants placement as a backup so then what he can do is he can first prepare properly for gate if nothing happens in gate then he can set for the placements because company would generally come till may at okay. least till april and may mm-hmm. so i think those many uh, like 3 mm-hmm. 4 months are actually good enough for that person to prepare for a company placement mm-hmm. so i think if this could uh, able to you know, uh, solve the confusion confusion among other folks that mm-hmm. uh, how they they would be able to manage placement it's how to balance placement with preparation yes, because mm-hmm. i think the plan b is very much important for everyone yes, yes that's true to, to get into the research and all because it takes a hell lot of time sir uh, because this is the crucial age sir Mm-hmm. so like uh, as the career gap should not come that's why i try to say yes that's true that's true and there are so many opportunities uh, jay only thing is like students have to manage their time very well yes sir and mm-hmm. the best part is like one preparation helps the other like if you prepare yes, for mm-hmm. some competitive exam let's say gate then you know even if the companies visit the campus they yes, ask sir. you technical questions so you can competently answer those questions so yes. these things actually uh, help uh, you know these preparations uh, really help you and also if you do your btech project seriously now i'm seeing that in the interviews whether it is bhava atomic research center it is isro it is iocl or it is any private company they ask you your project yes, and sir. if you say i have done good work in project they get impressed obviously even sir like in btech generally we can now get the grants from government also like i got in my third year only the grant from the government over my project 
so okay. i think these things are also good that if you can get grant over something then you would become a very preferable student for some institute because yes. you can get the government money to that institute that's true so i think that that is one of the best way like if we, if somebody is serious from starting only then he or she could be you know think of uh, getting a grant from the government over some project not the fellowship but at least a grant grant you can get that. yeah because yes. uh, that also help uh, very much in the research and all and uh, that will actually help the institute also wonderful okay jay so that was wonderful uh, interaction with you and uh, uh, i must thank that uh, thank you for uh, you know voluntarily coming forward uh, with the uh, you know intention to help those students who has, uh, want to aspire you know who aspire for these kind of opportunities and uh, being faculty and uh, pursue career in such is one of the best thing you know uh, but many students are not aware i will say not aware because they've never explored because our ecosystem uh, mentors us for something else like you know our ecosystem tells us to get into btech first and then they are traditional things you know yes, we yes. kept that in mind that first you write je exam and then you get into engineering and then you get placement and that's it. so yes, when yes. you start thinking something different students are not yes, aware yes. about the paths and strategies yes, so yes. through such interactions obviously they will get to know many things about that so yes, i'm really yes. thankful to you jay you came forward and i i also wish you all the very best for pursuing career in research and academics thank, thank you sir thanks a lot and even your guidance was also involved in it i used to watch your video only for these okay. things yeah but i just thought that if this could help this journey could help at least surely, surely. my juniors this yes. would be really helpful yes yes surely it will help and you know whenever some student will feel like uh, getting some information from triple it delhi we'll connect them to you that is what your period does also sure, we'll invite you and you will uh, you know interacting with the students who want to go for that so those kind of things also uh, we will do thank sure, you jay sir. for your time thank you sir thanks a lot for